this is, you know, this is not a spiritual woohoo thing, you know, <laughs> airy fairy. <laughs> yeah, this is recognised in many forms of psychotherapy. When energetically, that part of the neurology splits off energetically just to isolate the incident. And also, people can have many parts. This part can deal with all of the sexual trauma stuff, this one can deal with the beating stuff, and this can deal with you know, rejection stuff. And we, we can have many parts going on, all different ages. As we get older, they leak more and more and more. So for a while we're young, we can get away with it and we're not really listening. As we get older, we don't have the energy and it comes in more and more. And we listen more and more to these kids on a subconscious level. They are you know, absolutely real. As we talked about, you know, they're different... They're not solid energy like we are, but these kids are absolutely real. That child exists and it's stuck there and it's holding on to all that pain and all that torment and all that sadness and anger and pain, everything hurts. They're locked in space and time. They don't grow up. You know, however, whether it's in the womb, whether it's at one years old, that child is there, that, that part, stuck at that age. So the subconscious is responding to these images as long as they're locked in the energy system, that is that her life is perceived and that's a real life event happening now, still. Every day of your life, it's still happening. You see how powerful it is. That is why, you know, just classic EFT, you go in, you collapse the energy from these, these, these children naturally by doing EFT. That is the change, I think. That is where you change the pictures. How many times you watch Gary working when people say, I see it differently now. You get the shifts. <laughs> Gary's wonderful at the, the cognitive, you know, um, at um, fostering cognitive shifts. He gets people to see things differently. Not only clearing the, uh, the, the trauma, but also overcoming psychological reversal, allowing these wonderful reframes that will happen between the child and the client, getting forgiveness, reintegrating the parts, which is again something that's come up over the last few months, that once you've cleared the energy, you can actually reintegrate that part back into the self and let the part grow, which is just a wonderful thing to do. And can literally, you're gonna be, be right in the past. I was working with a lady that had, um, she was seven years old. She was in a lift, she lived in a block of flats, and she was in this lift with, with this guy. And that was what was working on, lift phobia. So I was working away with it, and I was doing my best to stay out of the inner child. Uh, and we, we probably worked for 20 minutes trying to collapse some of the emotion. We went in, we had to go in very, very slowly. This was a really, really traumatic event. Well, I'll tell you what happened, and you can judge for yourselves. So the, the, the lift is going up, and all of a sudden it stops, and it drops down, and it's between floors, and then it goes up another four floors, and it's rocking from side to side, and then it stops dead again. This is really jarring. And then the door's open, and they're halfway between floors, and she's a young girl and with a young guy, and it, he actually lifts her up to get out of it, out of the lift, imagine, you yeah. know. So we was working through this and we probably spent 20 minutes doing the gentle techniques, going in really, really slowly, which we really had to, and then going, um, doing into the movie, using the movie technique. And at this stage she said, I could see the girl, she looks absolutely terrified. So, and this is all we do. We've pre-framed it that I'm gonna tap on you. So I tapped on her and she just imagines tapping on that little girl and it's as simple as that. She imagines tapping on the, on the little girl. So I did this and we was quiet. I said, just like, you know, reassure her, tell her everything's safe, whatever you need to tell her. And she tapped, uh, I tapped on her, probably two or three minutes. And she just saw her on her face. She said, I, quoting here, I don't know whether I'm telling her or she's telling me, but all the trauma from this incident is gone within about three minutes, just by her tapping on that child. So it's beautiful to, to you know, just, let go of the trauma from the child. So this looks like, but does this look woo-woo that you imagine to tap on a child? Or is this not actually you know, reality? Because these kids are energetic reality. You can move energy with intention. You can't move objects unless you're really talented or really gifted. You can't move emotions, but you can move energy. And by imagining tapping on that child, you are absolutely tapping on a child. I was four years old. I was four years old. Yeah. Who else was in the picture? Uh, my dad. Your dad? Yes. Okay. And if you were to guess if you went into this movie fully, mm. how intense would it be? I think it, it might go to, uh, an, it would go to a 10 at some point. It would be a 10 yeah, at, some at some points, points yeah. yeah. How long yeah. would it last? Uh, f 
the actual movie five minutes, I guess. About five minutes, yeah. okay. Is yeah. there just one peak or is there many peaks within um, it? There's a couple of peaks, yeah. There's a couple of little peaks. There's okay, all, there's what should we call it? Um, it's it's uh, abandoned. I was at home okay. and my dad would, had been asked for the only time to babysit for me. Oh, okay. So he never okay. did this in the, the yeah, one time? Yeah, just been okay. asked one time. My dad said that he was going to the pub. Oh, okay. And when you say that, he said he was going to the pub. Yeah. What does that happen? Uh, that brings up a lot. That, so I can, yeah, I can feel it. Even though yeah. dad said he was going to the pub. Dad said he was going to the pub. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. He said, I'm going to the pub. Dad said, I'm going to the pub. And what did you feel? Terror. 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 Yeah. Oh, terror, okay. Terror, yeah. I, don't, I didn't know how to be on my own in the house. Oh, okay. It's night time. All this yeah. terror. All this terror. All this terror. All this terror. I thought it was going to be with Dad. I thought it was going to be with Dad. leave me on my own. Leave me on my it's own. Terror. Where it's do you feel terror. the terror? It's, it's, uh, it's uh, radiating in my central column. Well, then the centre mm. there? Yeah. Okay. What's the colour? Uh, it's red. Red. Give me a number on the terror. Eight. Okay. Even though I've got this red terror. Even though I've got this red terror. In my central column. In my central column. I love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. This red terror. This red terror. I'm just breathe into your heart. Just to go. <sighs> into a to six. Red terror. In fact, you just focus on... Breathe into your heart, we're going to six notes again. I'm just going to tap on you. This red terror. Red terror. So, um, he left me and I wasn't in my pyjamas or anything. And I was mm -hmm. just in the house on my own. And it just okay. seemed big and very frightening. Okay, when you, when you see that, that big frightening house. Um, yeah, just, I think I've, I collapsed in a ball and so I can you, feel myself in the ball. Yeah. Okay, you know, collapsed in a ball. Even though I'm collapsed in a ball. Terrified, Dad had gone to the pub. Terrified, Dad had gone to I'm the all pub. All alone. All alone. And you're feeling terrified again? Yeah, I'm feeling c completely cut off okay. from the source. Okay, can you see her? Yeah, I can see her. Okay, so as I tap on you, I want you to go and talk to her. Okay. okay. Is she okay with you tapping on her? Uh, I've got her on curler from a ball first. She's a very tight ball. Okay. Just talk to her. Okay. Just tell her you're here to help her. Be thankful for holding on to all this pain, okay. all this terror. And he's found a way to let go of all this pain and terror. Is she okay with that? Yeah, she's okay. She's she's uncurled and she's sit, she's sitting on my knee. Maybe if you just hold her hand. Okay. Oh, she's sitting on your knee, is she? Okay. Yeah, she's on my knee, yeah. I've got her on my knee. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, yeah, I'm just, tapping on her. Just explain. So why do you think Dad did this. Um, I've explained to her that it's because he was an alcoholic and not because he didn't love her. Okay. No, she with that. Um, she, she doesn't quite understand yet what that means. Okay. I think you need to find different words to help her understand. So. Okay, maybe if you do that. Okay. She understands that um, he's poorly and he thinks he needs a drink. That's what makes more sense to her. Okay then. That's what mum used to say. That's what mum used to say. Yeah. That made sense. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, she gets that. Okay. So it wasn't that he didn't love you? Yes. He didn't love that little girl, that little Sasha? Yeah. He just had problems? Yes. He needed to do this? Yes. Yeah. Where is she with that now? She's, she's calmer. She's a lot calmer. It's making a lot more sense to her. Okay, what's still there? Um, That's the what she's still worried about. It seems like a long time till mum mum gets home, and she wonders okay. if someone can come and look after her until mum gets there. Okay, maybe you could stay with her. Yeah. If you tell her that, you'll stay with okay. her. Okay. Maybe there's lots of things you'd like to talk to her with her while you've got that time together. Yeah. And she's okay now. She's in a good space to to reintegrate. Okay. Let's take her into your heart. Yes, please. Okay, if you want to go ahead and do that. Let me let him grow up, grow up with you to your present age. How's that? Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>